We have a Close Encounters going out to its new owner. He's very happy to get it. And that is going out now. You're taking it how far away? Uh, we're down in Newark, Delaware, right by the state line. Ah, a true classic game. You have a lot of fun with this thing. That's good. We'll take the legs and head off. He's going to plug it back in himself. The same is true with this high speed. We just posted a video last week, so it'd be pointless to do another video on the same game. But what I want to show you is this, this pack bin. Uh, actually, we'll start the front. This is a real nice pack bin that we have reconfigured. It's, it's a real nice pack bin cabinet, but we've painted it high gloss black because the artwork on the side was just too tattered to try to repaint. And we didn't want to put one of those stupid stickers on it. We like a real paint. And it saves people 200 bucks. It looks terrific. Yellow T molding, nice logo glass, monitor glass, new overlay. Game looks beautiful. Monitors rebuilt. Actually, you worked on this, didn't you, Frank? No, I just serviced the logic board. You serviced the logic board, okay. The boys, well, we new fuse blocks on the bottom. We, that bottom, whole bottom panel is taken out and cleaned. Uh, the logic board over here, we have new capacitors where they're needed, obviously. There's five, one, two, there's one oh, hiding okay. under there, three, four, five. Oh, you changed these too? Yeah, they, oh, all, okay. they all need to be done. And now, the this is important. We took the, the little boards out. But Frank has put back in these wire ties. They're hard to see that hold these daughter boards in tight so they don't fall out of the machine when you move it. The most common problem with a Miss Pac-Man, believe it or not, is a blown fuse because of the crappy fuse block on the bottom because it's 35 years old. Or one of these boards is a little bit loose. So if you get it in nice and tight, with the wire ties, that's what we have both of them, then you have no problem. He's also wire tied the daughter board to the metal bracket that holds it. So we also take out the interlock switch. This is trouble. Trouble. So we take it out and there's no more issues. But we still have the card, the Miss Packman card is still in there from 35 years ago. And look, serial number 79455. And it still has its checkout. It's the final checkout. There's some neat assembly line pictures of this Pac-Man's getting made that you can find on the internet. Images. Uh, I don't think there's any video, but I, I, when I was looking and doing research, I said, hey, this is neat. All these Miss Pac-Man's being made brand new back then. Pretty nice stuff. The other nice thing about Miss Pac-Man is that they have the wheels on the back. Now, if you happen to have a Miss Pac-Man that you bought, and there are no wheels in the back, it was probably a Pac-Man converted to a Miss Pac-Man. Very easy to do, new overlay. The, uh, but that's the easiest way to tell. Also, up top, instead of a fluorescent light, it's two light bulbs. Then you know you have a conversion. Nothing wrong with that, it's just that it's a different control panel. The control panel looks the same, but the Pac-Man control panel is metal on the top, but actually has wood below it that holds that original joystick in. That wonderful, actually we're, he's, this is the uh, close up of that, that beautiful joystick right here. You see that? That all metal, wonderful joystick. We put a brand new grommet in there. You can buy them from arcade shops. So brand new grommets. So anyway, this, this Pac-Man is ready to go. Once again, you can save some dough. You can save some dough and get a Miss Pac-Man very nice low price. Uh, low being $200 off if the side art's not as important. It still plays the same great way. One of the greatest games, of course, ever made in the history of arcade games. Pure genius programming. Oh, you know, if you see that color glitch right there, notice that there? If you move the game while the game's on, that's what happens. So what you do is you move it until the color is exactly right. Here, look, Frank. The color is exactly right now. You turn the machine off, like so. 
you wait. I, I tell people to wait, walk away from it for like three or four minutes, but wait until all the juices die down and then move it to where you want to put it and the color will be right. Turn it back on. When you move these monitors with the power on, so you see, now let me show you why. Do you see how the monitor is hanging down? It's not flat, it's not up. It has something to do with the magnetic uh, on the, on the uh, yoke and on the tube, there, the, there's magnetic uh, forces at work here because the ground is down there. That's where the bottom is. So if you move a picture tube in this position, you'll get that funky reaction, especially a cocktail table. We're, we're rebuilding this Miss pack thing cocktail now. Uh, so this is almost done. But when you rebuild something like this, you're also in the same boat. You have to be very careful uh, but it's fixable. You don't have to call anybody. Just fi figure out where the machine, like if you move the cocktail and you had blotchy color, move it until it's exactly right, unplug it from the wall, walk away from it. I tell people five minutes, maybe ten, five, ten minutes. Then with it turned off, move it to the location you want to put it in, then turn it back on. Oh, you know what? There is something to show you out here, Frank, real quick. We changed the monitor in there, and we did that. Oh gosh, it was cold, Frank. This is our picture tube. Sadly, our picture tubes are going the way of the day. That's the one we took out. Do you see the burn-in in that? That's another tube with burn-in. They get recycled. They're not going in the dumpster. They're getting recycled. And this Pac-Man, our best seller. There's another, look at the burn-in. So we don't sell games with burning like that. We recycle them. Frank, it's going to be snowing soon. Tomorrow. Oh, God. I haven't done this line since last year. You ready? The cold never bothered me anyway. Don't do that again. You like the movie. Yeah, not like you butchering it. But I didn't. Video. I used the original soundtrack. Well, Disney wants their royalty cuts. No, no, I just used, what is it, six seconds? Well, you know, $10,000 $10, a second. <laughs> listen, listen. It's been a whole year, friend. <sighs> anyway, there will be no more videos today. And the reason is, is I'm working. Because I'm leaving. Well, no, actually, there normally would, but I am trying. Oh, I came from a party. That's why I'm dressed up. I am working on this projector. I'm having rewind problems. This is what the inside of a 16 millimeter projector looks like. This heavy duty motor and you can see they're nylon gears that that propel the rewind and reverse and various sundries. There's even a speaker built in and then there's our drive belt that runs the machine. And this the son of a piece of crap rewind is broken. After 35 years I should call Bell and Howe. I can't call them. Everybody's out of business. <sighs> Actually, this is a wonderful piece of equipment. One of the best pieces of equipment ever made. Professional, wonderful equipment that runs and runs and runs and runs and runs. So we just have to do some cleanup to get this running again. For a point. Look, look what's coming. The Viper. Viper night driving. Look what it looks like with nothing on it. Wow, pretty empty. Anyway, oh, parts Gorgor. Playfield is unusable. Some clod hopper actually covered it. Not us, but look. Somebody covered it with mylar. It wasn't us, but they painted it with a spatula first. This is all, and look, look at this. They didn't even match the hair. It was just dreadful. So we're, we decided we're going to part it out because we, we have... No, we need a Gorgor parts machine anyway. A whole bunch of nice plastic sort of and other good parts. So that is going the way up. We're doing another Pac-Man. Pac-Man's our biggest seller, you know. And look what just came in. An Embryon for an overhaul. So that's on the horizon. And now I'm really saying good night. Good night, Frank. Good night. Good night. You don't have to go home.
But you can't stay here!